This is the Atlanta Small Business Show with Jim Fitzpatrick. Hello everyone, I'm Jim Fitzpatrick. Thanks so much for joining us on another edition of the Atlanta Small Business Show. Digital advertising is continuing to reach greater heights by the day. And with innovation climbing, it is becoming easier to reach targeted audiences across digital platforms. One company is going over and above their innovation to reach their customers on an all digital platform basis, faster, smarter, and in a more effective fashion. Here with us today is the CMO of Comcast Advertising, Ms. Maria Weaver. Thanks so much for joining us on the show. Happy to be here. Sure. Thanks for having me. This is at the top of everybody's mind, advertising and marketing, right? Where mm -hmm. do we do it? How do we combine mm -hmm. TV? Because everybody loves TV. Commercials are very effective. How do we combine that with digital, right? Yeah. So many yeah. small business owners are scratching their head and trying to figure this out. And you guys have come up with a way to do that, right? Yeah. So, uh, so welcome into the show. Thank Tell you. us a bit about your role at Comcast. So I am the CMO of Comcast Advertising, okay. which includes Effective, okay. our uh, newly branded Sure, yeah, we're going to be talking about that today. And it also includes Freewheel, which is okay. more ad tech. Okay. And so we are the uh, advertising sales division of okay. Comcast Cable. Okay, great. And so you would be the, the ones that would be working with small businesses here mm -hmm. in Atlanta. That's correct. Uh, on their marketing and advertising and helping them navigate that. You know, mm -hmm. it can be very daunting for a lot of small business owners when you talk about TV and digital. Especially you know, mm -hmm. when you, you talk know. about TV. Yeah, for sure. So um, viewers continue to get more options in terms of content. Uh, you know, or, or platforms to view uh, that content. Since you work with businesses trying to reach those viewers, what are the challenges that you're hearing from them? So when, when we talk to small business owners about their day-to-day -day and, and their kind of their work environment, what mm -hmm. they're trying to achieve, mm -hmm. one of the things that they say is it's, it's just really confusing and overwhelming yeah. how many different ways they yes. can try to reach their consumer. Yep. And for a lot of them, they're like, I'm just trying to run my business. You yeah. know, the yeah. marketing side of it is a whole different side. Right. Right. And so our our goal is to simplify it, mm -hmm. to demystify it, mm -hmm. if you will, mm -hmm. and to give these small business owners tools and solutions that empower them to feel confident about what they're doing right. and how they are executing their marketing plans. Sure. And I think you nailed it when you said that. It is daunting for a lot of small mm -hmm. business owners because they know how to build their widget or provide their services. That's but right. when it comes to advertising and marketing, you know, it used to be that you had to be a Madison Avenue ad exec to mm -hmm. figure it all out, mm -hmm. you know, and, mm -hmm. and uh, so, and I think you guys have done a great job with that at Comcast over the years anyway, you. you know, sitting down with small business owners and really advising them, mm -hmm. you know, in the best way to spend their ad dollars and, and reaching their market. But now this new digital age has really changed yes, everything, it's hasn't changed it? changed everything. Yeah, yeah, it really has. So, how, how uh, is effective addressing and solving those issues with, with small businesses? Well, there's a couple of things that we we try to do. One is to help educate and, as I said, demystify, et cetera. Um, but especially just educating these small business owners around what the new tools are of TV, mm -hmm. right? I think for a lot of them, TV feels um, overwhelming. It feels big. They right. don't necessarily know that they can geo-target um, a certain area and reach, mm -hmm. a reach their consumers on a smaller basis. They think of commercials like the Super Bowl and they hear exactly, right. they hear millions right. of dollars and they just think how am I ever going to do that That's right. and so what we've tried to do is give them solutions that are economical mm -hmm. that are efficient and, mm -hmm. and walk them through that process sure. um, but also over time it's it's become really important to us to have solutions that are more similar to mm -hmm. digital in that we allow for targeting mm -hmm. and um, help them understand that as well. Sure. So that's sure. that's that's our goal yeah. all the time is to continue sure. to partner and help small business owners understand sure. what they can do with us. And, and I think you're right. People will see an ad on CNN and go, wow, CNN, that's got to cost a, a, a ton of money. But at the end of the day, if I'm a, a chiropractor or if I'm a realtor or if I'm a, an attorney, uh, and my office and I do, you know, my, my location that I do business in is predominantly in the north end of town, maybe mm -hmm. North Fulton County, maybe it's Johns Creek or Alpharetta, what have you. I don't have to buy That's right. all of Georgia or all of even Metro Atlanta. That's I can right. pretty much buy Alpharetta Right or maybe the surrounding communities. That's right? exactly right. Right, which That's is exactly huge right. for which a small business. Yes, yeah. being able to add data, our set top box data, yeah. on top of um, kind of the already robust solutions, it allows them to identify the audiences that they want to right. reach. Right? right, and so they can, you know, pick their area that they want to 
target and right. then understand that they can also reach that specific audience that they want to reach wow. as opposed to it being some yeah. just you know broad solution right. we yeah. of course can do broad sure. but now we can also sure. target down yeah. yeah so tell us uh, what effective ad planner is and and what it aims to do thank you for asking yeah. we're so excited about this solution um, so the effective ad planner is something we launched earlier this year okay. and it really is a way as i said before to empower the small business owners mm -hmm. so that they can think about tv advertising in a similar way that they think about their digital advertising. Okay. So you can go online, you can put in your zip code that you're trying to target in, mm -hmm. you can see it on a map. Okay. You can then choose the audience you're trying to reach. Okay. It's all very intuitive with lots of uh, tutorial kind of information on there. Wow. You can upload a video, but if you don't have one, we make one for you. Wow. Put your credit card in. No it kidding. builds a plan, and That's you run fantastic. your TV. So you don't have to. You don't necessarily have to do this between nine and five when a salesperson is there, right? That's right. Yeah. And because we have click to chat, we can answer your questions, and we can make it really intuitive. And we have we have opened the doors. Oh my God, that um, is what you just described as a game changer. Yeah, because I know a, as a small business owner myself, when it comes to marketing, as just as we talked about, it's so daunting. But that's like a do-it-yourself yeah. marketing deal with all of the, the tools that you've provided. That's right. Completely wow. self-serve. Game changer game, in the industry. Game changer for yeah. us. Yeah. Wow, that, yeah. Is, that is incredible. And from an analytics standpoint, does it provide you with that uh, if, if you want that as well? Yeah. So then the, once you've created your campaign, right. you can go online on a ongoing basis mm -hmm. there's a dashboard that's right there for you and it shows wow. you exactly what's happening with your campaign as it's happening that is so cool so let's say that i'm a ford dealer and i want to i've got an ad and i want to push it out to um males say 25 to 54 because i know they they buy trucks or at yes. least they may have a propensity can you even take it further than that to say oh you want to sell trucks we're going to go ahead and give you people that are watching programming that would be that would lend itself to truck owners. Yes, so we can. Okay. Um, I would probably recommend in a scenario like that to talk to a salesperson okay. and not go through the TV app. Which is also available. Which so is also available. So you don't have planner. to. That's exactly oh, that's right. Good. And so we use our addressable solutions in order to okay. do that, right? Which allows you to use different creatives. So okay. if you're the Ford um, dealer, you want to target the truck owners for you know, your new truck that's coming out right. versus your SUV to families, yeah, to families. right? That's right. So you can sure. do that. Um, because it's a little bit nuanced, mm -hmm. I think it's better if you talk to someone who can actually give you more insight as to how sure. to do that plan sure. versus I, trying I, to do I, that I think I by yourself. To that's exactly right. right. That's yeah. exactly right. Yeah. So what led what led you to launching this service? Well, we knew that there are a lot of small business owners who are doing their marketing in the evenings. As yeah. I mentioned, they're running their business during right. the day. Right. They don't really have the opportunity to think about right. how they're going to drive consumers until after yeah. normal business hours. Um, we conducted research. We partnered yeah. with an outside research company that okay. helped us further um, understand that dynamic. Mm -hmm. And it, it just reinforced to us that there was right. an there's a underserved group of businesses yep. that we could serve better yep. if we gave them the tools yeah. that they could do it whenever they want. So how does this <laughs> service fit into your traditional go-to-market strategies? Well, the way that we think of our lines of business is, you know, we service small business owners, but we also service regional size businesses right. and national companies, yeah, sure, right? So sure. we do have to think about tools and solutions that are going to meet the needs of each of those key right. um, constituents. And so for us, this fits neatly into our small business owner strategy okay. in wanting to provide tools and services that, that meet their needs versus some of the tools that we might provide to okay. a larger agency that's you know booking something for a national business sure sure and what does it all mean for your customers well you know i think for our customers they're really excited by the fact that we are always trying to think of them first mm -hmm. right we that that is a key um strategy for us is mm -hmm. what is going to help our customers business go further right. and so i think when you're putting that as your versus our own selves right sure. versus building something because we just think it's the <laughs> good thing for us to do which many um, companies do which that. many companies do that right. um i think our customers feel it they right. feel it they see it sure. and as i mentioned it's two-way so right. we get the feedback we think about that um, and at the same time we're also trying to think about 
where the industry is going. Yeah. So we can see things that our customers yeah. can't and sure. how can we start to bring those bridges together. So I think what it means for our customers is that we're really helping them move their business further. Okay. okay. If I am a chiropractor or I'm a realtor or I'm, or I'm that, that attorney that I was speaking of earlier and I don't have a lot of creative, can oh. you guys help in that area? We can. Talk, talk to me about that, because that, that's also one of those areas I think small business owners go, yeah, I'd love to do this. I've got the, I've got the money allocated. It looks pretty simple, but ugh, yeah. I don't have the creative. I don't have the ad. I don't have the, you know, where do I go for that? Do I have to hire some big high-priced ad agency mm -hmm. just to script out an ad and maybe produce it in a, in a video? Talk yeah, to and, about I, that. and I do think that that is a, is a dilemma for a lot of businesses. They think, yeah. um, they think building creative is going to be really expensive. That's right. And how do I start, or or do I even have the time, right? right. Do I have the time to be, you know, That's thinking right. in, uh, uh, through a script, et cetera? Am I going to have to do that myself? Um, so we have an agency, an in-house mm -hmm. agency called Mnemonic. Okay. And so we work with clients all the time to oh, build out great. creative. But with the TV app planner, we actually also do have templates that are right there. Oh my gosh. That if if it meets your needs, you can it's literally fill it in. Fill it in. Fill it in. Oh um, and you can add your you so, know audio and, I, and just and just go. If I go on tonight and mm -hmm. I want to I want to say okay I want to place an ad buy for next week or next month or what have you, I literally can design where I want this ad to run. Right. That's correct. And then I can design the ad under the tools that you provide. Correct. How quickly could I possibly get that ad up and running in my market? It's about 72 hours. So but, we, but 72 hours, that's, that's mm -hmm, nothing. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it used to be, yeah. all right, when do you want to get that flight? Okay, two weeks from now, looks like we've got some avails. That's right. But, oh my gosh. That's right. Now we just, you know, we build that's a crazy. schedule. We have yeah. to do some verification, of yeah, course, sure. QA and so sure. forth. Once the, once the, and so that's the only reason why right. it takes those extra right. days. But it's, wow. it's pretty seamless and it's pretty quick. Wow. I love to talk to companies like you that are on the cutting edge of doing stuff like this that truly do help small business owners mm -hmm. and entrepreneurs mm -hmm. with marketing and advertising. Because that, if you talk to any of them, and we talk to so many of them here at the Atlanta Small Business Show and ASBN, they'll be like, customers, how do we get customers in? We build a great widget. We have a great service. Our right. store is beautiful or whatever that we put together, but we need we need to get in front of customers. And, yeah. and certainly this is one of the ways to do that. And as we all watch TV, we watch CNN, you know, we watch all the cable channels out there and Fox and you name it. Right. And, uh, you know, you see sometimes your competitors on there. You're yeah. Like, how, how did how they, they get do on that? There? Right. Yeah. Right. That's how. <laughs> That's how. That's exactly right. right. That's how. And I think also what what's interesting is that I people assume that if they do something like this, they're going to be right. on at 3 a.m. or right. some weird time yeah, or point. some random channel, that's and that's point. not the case at all. We wow. show you which channels you're going to be on. Right. We actually only program from 5 a.m. to midnight, so you're not going to be oh in God. just some weird time. Right. Um, just because we want to make sure that you're comfortable, sure. that sure. you're going to you're going to run where yeah. where your consumers are yeah. watching. So, how many that's markets right. is this in currently? So we're in 60 markets. Wow. Yeah, okay. we launched. Um, Right around the end of March, okay, and we've just been rolling it out wow. um, over yeah. over the past few months, and okay. uh, it, like I said, it's been very well received. And so, the more that we saw traction, yeah. the faster we started trying to That's roll great. it out. So and Atlanta is that one market? It or, is okay. So, it, would that take you all the way to North Georgia, mm -hmm. or the okay, it goes all the way up to the mountains, maybe? Or? It does. Yeah. I, I would. I'm not an expert on the geography okay. of the, of the area, but yeah, yeah it's yeah. it's a pretty wide. It is. It's a pretty wide geography. Yeah. Wow. That's that's great. And, uh, and where do you see Effective going from here? So Effective, um, as a brand, we just relaunched earlier right. this week. Um, it, it's really, a, it, we, what we like about the name is right. that it reinforces the value of television, right? right? right. That we are an effective medium, right. um, that we can deliver results for businesses. And so our goal is to continue on that path, right. is bridging the gap for our clients mm -hmm. to understand that we know people aren't just watching the big screens anymore. They're watching right. TV on right. multiple different screens. Yep. So we have solutions across all of our screens. Right. We're using data in order to target. Yeah. And so we're ha we have solutions that are really, sure. that are really effective. Sure. And um, you know, we heard for the last maybe, you know, 10 or 15 years, um, oh, video, video is, is, you know, don't go video, go digital marketing. Mm. And now that pendulum's coming back swinging mm -hmm. big time, right? Mm -hmm. To say, yes, digital, mm -hmm. but also TV mm -hmm. and make sure that you've got video associated with it. Mm -hmm. If you go on and spend any more than a minute on Google and you look up marketing, they're going to tell you you've got to have a video element as mm -hmm. part of your marketing program, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And uh, so, so this, the timing of this can't 
can't be better. And for those of you that are watching right now, Effective used to be Comcast Spotlight. Correct. Right? So I know, I know there's a lot of business owners that probably say, well, is it the same as Spotlight it is, just rebranded, right? It's just rebranded, yes. with incredible new tools, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. You guys are always on the cutting to, edge. And to your it. point, though, it's, it's an and, not an or. Right. So it's digital and TV. Yep. I think that that's yep. the real key for people to understand. No um, we have a lot of proof that TV advertising actually drives your search results, right? right? Because people see the ad yep. and they go and they Google. That's right. And so it's an it's an and and we're really yeah. we're we're really hoping to get that point yeah. across. So thanks for saying that. Yeah, think of uh, people now they, they say the average person watches TV with three screens, the mm -hmm. TV, the laptop and then their cell phone. That's right. right? And That's right. they they see the ad, they see the video and they want that immediate action to go, oh love what I just saw. Boom 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 That's boom I'm gonna call on my phone, right? That's exactly right. So you gotta hit them in all areas. You have to hit them yeah. in all areas. And you gotta you got a program for that so so for those of you that are watching me right now get excited about this it's for good cause because I'm a marketing guy at heart and it's the way that I grew my businesses and uh, and I too was with Comcast Spotlight for many years and it, and it knocked the cover off the ball but this is a, something that's a whole new ball game and uh, and I'm excited about it so glad that you took the time to join us in the studio here because I know a number of people are gonna get a lot out of this conversation here today uh, check it out how can they check it out by the way what's what's the URL at effective adplanner.com okay. guys go on play with it see what you think of it you know try it out if you have any questions I'm sure that uh, a drop down will come in and say do you have any questions you That's know right. uh, as we're all familiar with chat but uh, Maria Weaver CMO of Comcast Advertising I want to thank you so much for jo thank joining for us on the Atlanta Small Business Show this has been really great so thank thanks you. so much thanks for having me thanks for watching Atlanta Small Business Show ASBN is a part of the JBF business media family